WWE 2K24 fans, we have got some bizarre roster ratings for you today. Make sure you subscribe to the channel to be in with a chance of winning a free copy of the game in our subscriber giveaway. All you have to do, guys, is subscribe and make sure in the comment section you put... That's all you have to do. But let's get underway. We're going to take our first look at Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. The Australian is on your screen. Living it up down under at the moment in time. But look at his stunner. What rating is Grayson going to have? Looking really good. It's the same model from last year just with an updated attire. But the Australian looks pretty good here. What a sucker punch there to Kevin Owens. But I think all of the Grayson Waller fans, all of the Australians are going to be incredibly pleased with Grayson Waller's mm, peculiar rating, I must say. But I'm loving his attire. I think he looks good. A mid-carder at best within the company at this moment in time. But Grayson Waller, will he have the desired effect on you? Next up, it's Austin Theory. Enjoyed a successful year last year and then come the tail end uh, was losing left right and center but Austin Theory is one of the youngest superstars on the roster and he has one hell of a future within him but will his rating be justified again I think it's another rating that well to be fair all of the ratings have been slightly odd from Logan Paul being at 90 beating the likes of Drew McIntyre, Kevin Owens, and AJ Styles. We've got Johnny Gagano at a pitiful, I think he's a 76, which is just diabolical, really, for Johnny Wrestling. Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, what are they going to be rated at? Well, you're just about to see on your screens this very second. 74 for Grayson Waller, but even less 72 for Austin Theory. I would switch them up if it was me, but let us know what you think down below in the comment section as you can with all of these roster rating reveals. Next up, we have Io Sky. She is the WWE Women's Champion, so expect her to have a much higher rating than you potentially thought because it seems that the 2K devs are intent on giving title holders much higher ratings than perhaps potentially they would have given them in previous games. Io Sky has worked her as Shotzi there. That's a great shot and a new model there of Shotzi with the spiked hair. That's the first time I've noticed that, but we're looking at Io Sky here. She has a phenomenal rating, a really, really high rating for a superstar that was at best a mid carder last year. 88 for EO Sky. That is sky high, if you ask us. But I'd like to bring your attention to the announcers as we've got Samantha Irwin looking really good. Confirmation she is in the game. Mike Rome, the SmackDown announcer. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without Alicia Taylor, who is the NXT announcer. It's great to have all three of them in the game. It adds to that depth and realism. But back to these roster ratings as we have none other than the visionary, the former architect, former beast slayer. And I probably shouldn't bring the beast into things, should I, considering Brock Lesnar is in the game, but not as a playable character. And there's all sorts going on with him. But Seth freaking Rollins, baby. There he is on your screen. He is the world heavyweight champion. So expect a high roster rating. This is what we are here for, folks. Make sure you slam a like down on today's video because you are going to love Seth Rollins' rating. It's not as bizarre as some of the others. He sat at a 93. That is the same as the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. But Seth Rollins looking pretty damn good there. Next up, we have, we have got The New Day. Now, we spoke about peculiar ratings, bizarre ratings. The New Day follow suit in what can only be described as these fundamentally absurd roster ratings this year. We're lucky that we can delve on in and edit these ourselves. 
But Xavier Woods there makes his way into the ring. I'm loving the springboard action there. But we've also got the likes of Kofi Kingston and Big E who makes it into the game after having missed at least two years of his career in real life after suffering a broken neck. But Big E is in the game. Big kudos and a big well done for the WWE 2K devs for keeping his spirit alive in these WWE games. But their roster ratings. Now, hold on to your hats, folks. Don't put the comments down yet. 78 for Big E. 80 for Kofi. And Woods at 78 as well. What do you guys think of that? Want to bring your attention? We've got a brand new Lita model. After Lita Gate last year, we experienced a plasticine type model. Then the devs quickly went in and changed it under fan pressure because she looked ridiculous. Because they made her that way. Not anything to do with Lita. She's absolutely sensational. But it was odd and bizarre. But we got a brand new Lita model, which I'm excited to see. Back to these rating reveals. We have got Dakota Kai. Here she is. Looking really good. Brand new attire. Same model as last year. The hair, I believe, is exactly the same as well. Dakota, who missed a lot of last year out with an injury as well, has recently returned to our screens. But here she is going up against Zelina Vega. But what will her rating be? You guys, I think, are going to be slightly uh, weirded out by this one as well. It's a bizarre rating, as all of these have been. But Dakota Kai looking really good. Nothing too much more to add to Dakota. She was obviously going to be in the game. It's a great model. It didn't need too much of a change up. But the rating 78. Now, is that too high for Dakota Kai, who's definitely a mid-carder? I don't know. You guys will have to let me know. We also got the entrance reveal for Bronson Reed. It is his debut in a WWE 2K game. And he looks like one of the best we have seen. I would put him on par with Jay Uso. But just the way that he looks, the skin texture, the lighting on his jacket, the attire, the facial structure that he's got. It looks exactly like the Bronson Reed that we see on TV. In fact, if you blink really fast, it might make yourself a bit dizzy like I've just done. But it looks so realistic. One of the most realistic models we have seen when it comes to a 2 K character and the wrestler Bronson Reed has been fiercely sought after by us in the fan base but it's been an incredible journey and Bronson will be on it. Next up we have got Lashley and the Prophets. Again weird weird roster ratings. Montez Ford, Tez there splashing down on Finn Balor and the rest of the Judgment Day. We've got Angelo Dawkins, who's had his rating revealed alongside Tez. Angelo, I'm not sure if he's had a model change up. He looks very similar to last year. It might just be because he's not wearing the headpiece. But I'm loving the attire, the teal green attire. They always have vibrant, bright colors. And I'm loving this teal one that is in the game as well. Both look so much fun to control in this itineration of the game. They are one hell of a tag team. And 2K promised us great tag teams. And of course, we weren't going to have this game without the profits. But let me draw your attention to the almighty one. You're about to see Bobby Lashley. I think that's exactly the same model. Well, it is. And it's the exact same attire as last year. So I think all of us are going to have to recreate Bobby Lashley in his updated attire that he has currently. Obviously, he's normally suited and booted. But Bobby Lashley, very much similar. If you look at Karrion Cross there as well, there's no update to Karrion Cross's model. Doesn't have the longer hair. In fact, I think that is last year's model as well. So it's disappointing that we have not got an update to Karrion Cross. You guys will have to let me know your thoughts down below. But disappointing that Bobby is exactly as he was last year. Karrion Cross, no update as well. But an 89 for Lashley. And at a 76 and a 74 for Montez and Dawkins, respectively. That's not the best. And we also have Caden and Katana. Their tag team entrance with those, I don't know, bubble guns, foam guns, smoke guns. A bit, yeah, you know what I mean. But here they are in action. They are a tag team, you guys. And we were all crawl, 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 crawling out for more female tag teams. And these two 
epitomize the women's tag team division. They actually have a championship match on the pre-show to Elimination Chamber, which takes place, uh, if you're seeing this in the future, a few days ago. For the live people, it's, it's tomorrow morning. But here they are, looking great. The character models look fantastic. You can see there, they're going up against another female tag team. So it looks like the tag division for the females is going to be great. Both of them rated at 74, which isn't too bizarre. But uh, yeah, I am looking forward to getting my hands on this year's edition of the game. We have got more roster ratings coming their way. And you know what? Let's do one more, but this is probably the most disappointing of them all in today's episode. It's Carrion Cross. It's just copy and paste from last year, the same model. He's got longer hair now. He has done for some time. So I think this is a little bit lazy from the 2K devs. Let me know what you think down below in the comments section. Hashtag justice for Cross. But yeah, it's a copy and paste. Let's... Ugh, his rating as well. It's it's bizarre. That's all I can say. Sorry to end on such a sour note. But I'm disappointed that Carrion hasn't had any change whatsoever. It's just disappointing. And his rating is 75. From a guy that did so well in NXT. That is a low rating. But anyway guys, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to us. Of course, there's always the subscriber giveaway, which you can get involved in just by subscribing. What you got to do is subscribe to the channel before the 1st of March and put down in the comment section. Anyway, see you all soon. Bye.